landforms and bodies of water. Landforms. We have a forest, valley, desert, hill, mountain, plain. We're going to see those pictures coming up. Here's a forest. Okay. A forest. A forest is a large area covered with trees and undergrowth. That's what a forest is. So take a look. Lots of trees. Undergrowth means that there's vegetation on the ground. Sometimes there's fallen uh, pine needles that you're stepping on. Okay, that is that is a forest. Trees are very close together. Valley. Valley is a low area of land between mountains or hills. So take a look at this picture. It almost makes a V for valley. Okay. See the land goes down. Here's the low area. That's the valley. And then the land goes up. So it's a low area of land in between mountains or hills. So there's a little hill. These look more like mountains. Okay. The valley is right down the middle. Desert. Desert is a dry area covered with sand. So this is a picture of a desert. Okay, desert can be flat. There also can be mountains in the desert. Okay, there are plants, but not very many of them. Okay, see how there's not a whole lot of green and there's a lot of sand. Mountain. A mountain is a large landform that usually forms a peak and is made of rock. Okay, so a mountain is a large landform that is usually forms a peak and is made of rock. So this is a mountain. Notice how it goes all the way up. A lot of times a mountain has a peak. That means it comes to a point at the top. So this is a mountain. Okay, and it's also made out of rock. Hill, a raised area, not as tall or rocky as a mountain. Okay, so mountains, remember mountains are very tall. Okay, they usually come to a point. However, hills, see these? These are rolling hills. They're usually smaller, but it's still the land goes up. A lot of times you'll see green on them because there's grass growing on them. Okay, so that makes them a hill. Plain. A large area of flat land. Okay, this is a plain. A lot of times there's grasses on the plain. Um, it's flat. If you notice when you look out, it's a long time before you see anything that is raised. Okay, it's very flat land. It's a plain. Okay, now we're going to talk about bodies of water. Okay, there's bodies of water that we're going to look at today are ocean, river, lake, pond, bay. Right, an ocean. An ocean is a very large expanse of sea. Okay, so an ocean means it's a lot of water. When you look out, usually you don't see much in the water. You might see boats and things like that, but usually you don't always see land. Okay, ocean is also salt water. River. A river, a large stream of water that flows to a larger body of water. Okay, so a river is a large stream of water that flows to a larger body of water. Okay, usually you can see both sides of a river, say on one side and one side, but it you see it continuing flowing forward, okay, and you can usually see it going both ways, okay. It's flowing water, and it usually has two sides, and eventually this will go out to a large body of water like an ocean or maybe a lake, um, but the water is usually also flowing in a river. See how you can see it moving. A lake. <clears throat> a lake is a large body of water surrounded by land. Okay, so when you look at this lake, you can see the land on the different sides. So you see land here, it goes all the way around. You have land in front of you. Okay, usually there's it's completely, a lake is completely surrounded by land. Notice how the lake isn't really moving much. Lakes can have some movement on it, especially on a windy day, but oftentimes lakes, I don't have a lot of movement in the water. Okay, but the important part about a lake is that it's completely surrounded by land. Pond. A pond is a body of water smaller than a lake. 
Okay, ponds are usually a lot smaller. Um, a lot of times you can see all the way around the pond. Okay, so again, a pond is completely surrounded by land, but it's smaller than a lake. A bay. A bay is a body of water in an area that curves inward. Okay, so this right here is the bay. See how this is the ocean? The ocean comes in and it curves inward towards the land. Now, sometimes in a bay, it has salt water, but also sometimes there is some fresh water mixed in, depending on the bay that, you're, that you are at. So this is a bay where it comes in. See that curved area? Out there is the ocean. Out here is the bay. <laughs> 